All right, we're here at the beautiful Don Rentone and Denny Doe for our Athlete of the Week presentation. And this week, our Athlete of the Week, Golden. Let's give it up for Johnny Kittigua. He is our Athlete of the Week. Oh, Johnny's an outstanding track and field athlete. Congratulations, Johnny. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, now let's get this straight. The Mike Petty uh, International Track Meet over in Japan competing against uh, high school students from Okinawa and Japan. You took gold in the 110 and 300 meter hurdles and silver in the long jump. That's got to have you feeling like on top of the world, dude. Yeah, it, it feels really great to be able to go over and compete uh, over uh, on behalf of Guam. And now uh, this season, uh, you know, IIIAG uh, track and field, uh, you're basically perfect in uh, all the meets for hurdles, right? Uh, yeah, for the 110 hurdles and 300 hurdles, I'm, I'm first. So that's, uh, I mean, that's got to be a stellar feeling, especially senior year. I know that uh, you probably got your eyes on the prize, maybe uh, thinking about like a track and field scholarship. Yeah, I'm trying to strive for a scholarship and see what kind of kind of schools will offer me if I go off island. Yeah. Well, there you go. So uh, definitely a, an outstanding and a stellar athlete in the sport of uh, track and field. And my man Chris here from Dow Renton with a special message uh, for you, Johnny. Congratulations, Johnny, on being the Dow Renton Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to donate this check to? Uh, I would like to donate the check to uh, uh, Special Olympics. Yeah. Well, there you go, uh, Johnny. You keep uh, jumping, man. Outstanding work. And, uh, you know, we wish you the uh, best uh, rest of the season and uh, good luck in your future, all right? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. There you go. Hey, you heard the man, Sir Chris from Dal Rentone here in Dedido for Athlete of the Week presentation. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Hey, Bud Light, Guam Women's Tackle Football League action this weekend at the UOG Field. Saturday, 10.30 in the morning. Team Legacy, the defending champs, undefeated, take on the Tough Chicks. At 2.30, Lady Raiders versus Sindalu. And then Sunday, on the seventh day, he rested, but she played tackle football. 10.30 in the morning, Lady Falcons taking on the Steel Blazers. 2.30 in the afternoon, Lady Saints versus the Island Stunners. Guam Basketball Association leading scorers, J.P. Cruz of the MVP Marauders, leading all scorers with 272 total points for an average of 30.2 points per game. J.P. stands for just points, baby. Second place, Ollie Bradley from the Guam Auto Spot Phoenix Suns, uh, second with 202 total points, averaging 20.2 points per game. Big block here, though. He can also play that D. Darren Hechenova, the OG Tritons, the third leading scorer, 167 total points for an average of 18 and a half points per game. Top in national sports, of course, the NFL draft. And let's uh, run through the top five picks for you. Uh, number one pick, Los Angeles Rams selecting quarterback Jared Goff from California, 43 passing touchdowns in 2015. Eagles with the number two pick select quarterback Carson Wentz, North Dakota State. This is a big boy. They ball up in North Dakota, 6'5". 237 pounds with 235.9 passing yards a game in 2015. Number three from a Chargers fan, San Diego, selecting defensive end Joey Bosa out of Ohio State. Second team AP All-American, uh, three seasons, 26 sacks. So he got that D. Uh, number four, Cowboys, Dallas, selecting running back Ezekiel Elliott of Ohio State. 1,821 rushing yards, 23 touchdowns in 2015. And with the number five pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars select cornerback Jalen Ramsey out of Florida State, 43 tackles and a sack in 2015. And there you go, the top five picks in the NFL draft.